Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and today is a rainy, cold day here in uh, Phelps, New York, on this 14th day of June, and today we celebrate the prophet Elisha, and it's Elisha that we're reading about in the uh, Fourth Kingdoms. Yeah, Fourth Kingdoms. So... That's, uh, let me see, and the troparian for the prophet Elisha, an angel in the flesh and the cornerstone of the prophets, the second forerunner of the coming of Christ, glorious Elijah sent grace from on high to Elisha to dispel diseases and to cleanse lepers. Therefore, he pours forth healings on those who honor him. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now let's say good morning to Christina and Robin. Good morning to you both. Good, good morning, morning. Yes. No, it's raining over here, too. Oh, it's raining here. Um, my driveway uh, has caved in where they were digging uh, for our new water line. And we oh. can't use that driveway now. And it's the only safe way to get my wife Sharon out of the house. So I've got to call those people to have them come and fill that in. It was expected that it would, you know, settle in. But it settled in more than we thought, I think. And, uh -huh. and meanwhile, also, sugar has a skin infection that I have to go down and treat. Last year it was very, very bad. Hopefully I've caught it earlier and... There won't be too much trouble this year. So we've got stuff going on around here. And when it rains, of yeah, course. And we're in the middle of the rain and all that. Isn't that great? Oh, well. Oh, well. At least, our, at least Arthur Bethea is here to wish us all a good morning. And he wishes us a blessed day. And same to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And let me see. Who else is here? We're going to be short today because I have so much to do. But. Let me see here. Lena May, my baby sister in Pennsylvania. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Whoa. I've missed all of you, and we have missed you. We've been praying and praying for you. Thank you so very much for your prayers. I love each and every one of you. May God bless you always. Thank you, Lord, for bringing oh, Lena May back to us. Thank you, Lord. And right next to her... In the front aisle is my other little sister, Nellie Cartvelli. Good morning to you. And there's my sister, Barb Anderson. Good morning, Maria Fent. Oh, and oh, good, good, good. Oh, thank you, Lord. All righty. And so yeah, everybody, well, Lena May is home. She's with us. Thank you, Lord. Well, yeah. let's celebrate. You know, it's actually, you know, it's Elisha. We're celebrating Elisha today. And on his feast day, on his, the day we commemorate him, he was that great <clears throat> prophet who actually brought someone back from the dead. And, oh, so, and he brought us Lena Bay home. Thank you so hey, much. Amen. I was just thinking of that. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, we haven't seen Well, my so day long. just got a lot better. It sure did. So, Mine too. Let me see. Christina's going to read our... We're back in Romans. And you know what we're Peter says? Romans. Peter says, Paul is hard to understand sometimes. So let's see how it goes this morning. Well, you made me feel a little better yesterday when you said that. That St. Peter said that. So I'm not the only one that has, <laughs> you know, my ears caught in it. <laughs> but anyway, let's see this morning. St. Paul's letter to the Romans. We're actually continuing from yesterday. Okay, I think you'll have some more detangling to do <laughs> tonight. So let's go back to chapter 4 and start with verse 13 through 25. Let's open our Bibles on page 1522. Let's start with verse 13. For the promise that he would be 
the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if those who are of the law are heirs, faith is made void and the promise made of no effect, because the law brings about wrath. For where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Who contrary to hope in hope who contrary to hope in hope believed so that now hold on let me start all over who contra, contrary to hope in hope believed so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken so shall you so shall your descendants be and not being weak in faith he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. And therefore, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now, it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but also for us. It shall be imputed to us who believe in him, who raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. Amen. Now, now this me, is a bit clear. Let me uh, hone in here for a second. Um, at the beginning of this section of Romans, Paul is telling the Roman church, look, you are like Abraham, you are saved by your faith, not by the works of the Mosaic law, none of that. You are saved by faith because Abraham was saved by faith before there was a law, before there was circumcision, before any of that, because Abraham demonstrated faith in our Lord and, and God. He became righteous before God. And we are inheritors of the promise made to uh, uh, Abraham that uh, there would be this, and I'm going to put it in Christian terms here, this great church, this this wonderful church that we have that would be, actually began with Abraham, actually began with Abraham and moved forward uh, to where we are today. So we are saved by faith, just like Abraham, and Abraham is our father, not by blood, not by blood, but by faith. We are his children through faith and inheritors of the promise of salvation. Amen. All righty. That's mm -hmm. what that's all about yesterday and today. Right. Okay. Right, right. I hope I didn't confuse anybody. Now we can go to Luke. Yes, now we can go to Luke. And it's become a little clearer to me as well. All right, let's go to St. Luke chapter 4. We'll start with verse 22 all the way to uh, verse 30. <clears throat> let's open our Bibles at page 1371, verse 22. So all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? He said to them, You will surely say this proverb to me. Physicians, heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. Then he said, Assuredly, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you truly, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land. But to none of them was Elijah sent except to 
Zarepta, in the region of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha, the prophet, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman, the Syrian. So all those in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city. <clears throat> and they led him to the, brow, to the brow of the hill on which their city was built, that they might throw him down over the cliff. Then passing through the midst of them, he went his way. Amen. This is the word of our Lord in the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, let me see here. Just let me see here. Okay. All righty. So, um, yeah, prophet is often not recognized in his own country, and he's he's telling these people in the synagogue, he's telling the Jewish people in the synagogue um, that uh, even Elisha recognized that there was little faith, little faith in yeah. God and Israel. So he said, okay. The Lord sent, packed him up and sent him into uh, Gentile lands up in Sidon, that Tyre in that area, where it was all Gentile and pagan. But he found, and there Elijah performed those miracles that Jesus spoke of. And so, excuse me, I got the burps here. So where there was little faith, uh, Elijah didn't work any miracles, or the Lord didn't work miracles through Elijah, but he went up into the pagan, into the pagan countries, and there worked miracles to bring faith to them. And uh, and another spot, uh, Jesus said, uh, the evangelist says, Jesus didn't work many miracles in and around Nazareth in that area because people had little faith. So, in order for these miracles to happen, you know, you 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 got to have faith. You know, you got to have faith, and as just as Paul is telling us, faith we're saved through faith in God. But if you have little faith, don't expect any great miracles to come into your life. No, don't expect that. All righty. So we have a meditation this morning. Yes, 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 we do, and we do have a very interesting meditation, too. <clears throat> Saint Theophan the Recluse. The feeling of self-importance is deeply hidden, but it controls the whole of our life. Its first demand is that everything should be as we wish it, and as soon as it is not, so we complain to God and are annoyed with people. Amen. Amen. Well, let's say hello to everybody. Of course, there's our little sister, Lena May, and Nellie Cotvelli. Good, good to see you guys <laughs> side by side. Barb Anderson, good morning. Maria Fenton, Debbie Owen, good morning. And Karen Kurlanovich, please pray for my son-in-law, Anthony, who is suffering from deep depression and quit his job. Oh, and pray for my daughter, Jonna, and Francis, too. Thank you for all your prayers in this morning. Lord, we pray for this little family. We pray for uh, Karen's daughter, Jana, and uh, and Francis, her baby, and her husband, Anthony, Lord, going through that 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 dark, dark place uh, called we call it depression, Lord. We pray that you lift him out of that. You know, in the evenings, Lord, we pray for Robert Ryan to be healed from depression. And he asks us, Robert asks us to pray for all of those who are suffering from thoughts of loneliness and anxiety. And uh, we, we pray for all of them, and especially this morning, Lord, we pray for Anthony. Please, Lord, bring Anthony out of this, this dark depression. Amen. Amen. And let me see here. Katarina Salas, good morning. Please pray for me. You betcha for for uh, strength and uh, guidance for Katarina. Amen. And and uh, Katarina says, I understand. I'm as well uh, suffer from loneliness and anxiety. Prayers for all. Amen. One in four mm -hmm. people suffer in America 
last last I heard. So one in four, twenty five percent of our population suffers from some form of depression. So and it's tough. I've been through it. So let me say here. And over here. We have Jonathan Nichols. Good Wednesday morning to everyone. And he has three cups of coffee there. Just as, just as Robin is bringing coffee up to her lips. Mm. I forgot mine. <clears throat> mine downstairs. Mm. Well, Violetta, good morning. Earl Winter, good morning to you. And, uh. Amber Tremaine, good morning. Juliette Sabunia, good morning to all of you, prayer family. May God's blessing be with all of you. Of course, there's Arthur Bethea, good morning. Joyce Marie created me a clean heart, O oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Uh, Amber says, sorry for your trouble, Steve. Prayers for all to settle down. Love and healing for sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my troubles are, you know, they're little bumps in the road, but there's nothing nothing catastrophic or anything i'm blessed and oh elioni is here she says hello to everyone and robin why do you suppose that our sister elioni is here this morning the christ is with us he truly truly is amen, amen. <clears throat> and let me see here catherine houston good morning catherine and Zach Flatten is in Ashland, Virginia. I love it. He's in Zach keeps pointing out where he is, and he's all over the place on the eastern seaboard. And uh, we we'll so pray for Zach. Keep him safe on those roads. Amen. And out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, we have Lisa Itzel McCraw. Good morning to you. Gary Ballard is here. Good morning, Gary. Stefania, good morning. Good morning, Stefania. And, oh, Alexander Sabunia, Juliet's uh, husband. Greetings to everyone in this family of pilgrims. Amen. Good morning to you. And, uh, boop, 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 boop. Rob King, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Rob, over there in Virginia. And Joyce Marie says, well, we've already done with Joyce Marie once, but she says it's so important. Did we? Yes, we did. And Joyce Marie comes back to remind us once again to, to uh, create a clean heart in us, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. And there's Stefania. Good morning to you. Good morning, she says. All righty. Let me see. Now, as I said, I got to head out of here early, take care of the horse and my driveway so we can get Sharon out of here this morning. I'll put this over here. And Robin is going to lead us in prayer this morning. All right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, and the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come abide in us and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, our good one. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty. Holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to him thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe and one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, whoever workest great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love towards mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
it is truly meet to bless thee, O Theodocus, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me the peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. And every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Yes. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And Mary Mary's Market is here from uh, St. George's in Spring Valley, Illinois. Good morning, Mary Mary's Market. Good to see you. And Wilson Salviejo has joined us over here in the main aisle. Good morning to you, Wilson. <clears throat> well, oh, I am going to leave you now. I have to go rescue my driveway, which is sunken in, so we can get Sharon in and out of the house. Yeah, we can't do that right now. Safely. Safely. And uh, let me see. Oh, then I have to go medicate my sugar. Oh. So, and in the midst of all this rain and cold, oh, good Lord. But <laughs> plenty of sunshine in my heart because our sister Lena May is back. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. I need to send you some sunshine. Yes. <laughs> well, it's Christina, who's the wicked weather witch. She's got to send it. Yeah. She's got to send us that good weather. It'll be here tomorrow. So there are, as, as, as Christina was reminding us, there are two things we have to remember. Have to remember. Christina, what's number one? Number one is that God loves us and he really, really, really does. Yeah. And Robin, what's number two? That we love you, we love each other. We really, really, really do. And as Gary and Stefania would say, we really do. <laughs> Some emphasis on that last one. There we go. Okay, folks, got to go. Uh, and uh, Lita May says, thank you, Mr. Toby. Mr. Toby. Oh, that's me. Christine and Robin, <laughs> may everyone have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Amen. Thank you. Okay, we'll Look see out. you tonight. St. Peter tonight. St. Peter, first letter. Peter. That's okay. right. That's right. That's right. Thank right. you. And you wanted a, it was you who wanted a universal epistle, which is one of St. Peter's epistles. So there we go. Tonight yeah. at 9 p.m. So we'll see you all later on. Have a good day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Have well, a blessed day. You too. Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto you.